Thanks for joining me for this video. My name is Luke Truen, and I'm a composer for film, TV, media, and video games. You've probably clicked on this video because you're curious about VoiceMeter, or you might be having an issue with VoiceMeter. And for those of you who are not familiar with VoiceMeter, VoiceMeter is used to route audio to and from programs such as Zoom, Discord, Teams, and other programs that many of us use every day. And when it doesn't work, it's very frustrating, and it keeps us from moving forward with what we're trying to do. And the answers to the problem are not always very clear. Have you ever received the voice meter error, fail to open main output device? In this video, I'm going to share a recent experience where I received this error and how I fixed it. Let's take a look. Recently, I was on a Zoom call, and I was streaming Pro Tools audio from the DAW through Zoom in stereo like I do all the time. And the call was great. I'm glad this issue did not occur during the call. But after the call was finished, I closed Pro Tools, and this is the error message that I received. I'm just going to read it to you in case you're just listening to this. And um, so here's the error message. Output device not working. Fail to open main output device A1, device not ready or used by another process. Select A1 output device first. Keep default settings, default buffer size. Device configuration might be 32, 44.1, 48, 88.2, or 96 kilohertz only. And then there was another error code underneath that. And this error code came from voice meter. However, it's related to the A1 output device in VoiceMeter. And anybody who uses VoiceMeter will know this, but however, if you're new to VoiceMeter, the A1 output device is related directly to your interface or audio card or whatever you're using for your output device. And in my case, this happens to be the Scarlett 18i8 Focusrite interface. So let's look at the VoiceMeter interface real quick. So if you look here, the A1 device is in this section under hardware output. And I always use the MME driver because that gives me the best performance uh, where there's no popping and clicking and hissing and all that. So this is the area that the error message was describing. And when I looked at the voice meter app, the interface was in red and it was flashing. So the first thing that I did was go into the voice meter settings, which is under menu, system settings and options. And then I looked at the buffer settings for the different drivers. The MME is at 1024, the WDM was at 512, and the other ones were also at 512. Even though there was an issue with the driver, these settings were exactly like I left it. And um, even here, the output A1 main device in the settings, this was blinking red. After I checked this settings area, I went to the sound card area for Windows, and I wanted to see if anything was out of place there. So looking at the sound settings, I went immediately to advanced, because that's where the configuration is related to the Focusrite interface the most. And um, normally I keep it at the 24-bit, 44, 100 hertz, However, when I checked it, the setting was at 48,000 hertz, and so I knew something was wrong with the driver. Next, I went to the Focusrite settings, and the sample rate for the Focusrite settings was also at 48,000. So that also confirmed that there was a driver issue. All right, then I went over to Mix Control to see if there was anything strange going on there as well. And in the Focusrite Mix Control, if you click on the gear icon, you'll get some basic information about the device. And you'll also get the uh, Focusrite control firmware number, which is also the driver number for the interface. And this was on one version back, uh, and it was on the same firmware, but it was one version back in terms of the driver. And so I needed to upgrade anyway, but this is not the way that I wanted to do it, of course. Um, also checking this, device area, you can go to sample rate and look for your sample rate here. And this also was on 48,000. 
So I knew immediately that the driver needed to be uninstalled and reinstalled. So once I determined I needed to uninstall the drivers for the Focusrite interface and then reinstall them, I decided, well, I might as well get the latest drivers. So that's what I did. So a quick shortcut is to go under the Focusrite control, click on the help menu, and there's an online help link. And it takes you immediately over to the Focusrite website. And you can see there's the interfaces, support, and you can explore. So I immediately went to support and then downloads because I want to download the latest driver. And I have a Scarlet third generation. And I have the 18i8. So I downloaded the most current version of the Focusrite control, which also includes the driver. And as a test, I wanted to run the installer to see if it included a repair option and whether or not it would overwrite the current driver settings and fix the issue. Fast forward, it did not fix the issue and I ended up needing to uninstall the audio drivers as well as the Focusrite control. And this is what it looks like in Windows. There's two different components that you'll want to uninstall, which are the Focusrite drivers and the Focusrite control. After you uninstall both of these, it is highly recommended to restart your computer before trying to install them again. So after I restarted, I ran the installer and it installed the new Focusrite drivers with no issues. And after the restart, it recognized the interface with the new drivers. Once I saw that the interface was recognized on the system, I then went to configure the settings in voice meter and in the uh, Focusrite settings. And I also um, opened up the Focusrite control and went back to the, the gear wheel to make sure that the Focusrite control version matched what I had downloaded. So once I confirmed that the Focusrite control was the current version, the 3.11, I went to voice meter and started to reconfigure some of the settings. First one I went to was the microphone and I selected my MME, and I noticed that the name had changed. So now it's called the Analog 1 Plus 2 with the interface in parenthesis. Then I went to the A1 device and selected the MME driver, and now this one's called Speakers with the Focusrite interface in parenthesis. So after I changed the settings in Voice Meter, I went to the Focusrite settings here and attempted to set the um, the sample rate to 44100 manually, but it actually wouldn't stay. It would go back to the 48,000. And I thought about it for a few minutes, and then I remembered a setting under the sound settings. And let me show you what this setting looks like. There's a setting under exclusive mode that says, allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if I open a Pro Tools session that's a 44100 session with this checked, if it would force the system to recognize 44100. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. I opened up the Pro Tools session that's a 44100 session, and it automatically set the system settings to what you see here. Once the system recognized the settings that I wanted, I shut everything down and restarted the computer again. After I got logged in again, I opened Voice Meter, opened Pro Tools, and then set the Pro Tools driver to the VAIO driver, and it worked great. Everything was working as expected, and I was able to stream through Zoom again, and so I had my answer. What's still not clear is why the system had an issue after closing Pro Tools. It's hard to say what the issue was, but could be any number of things, especially with the Windows driver. I hope you enjoyed this short video today about the Focusrite driver meltdown and how it relates to VoiceMeter. Even though I didn't find the answer of why it happened, I'm glad that I found a solution and all the software is back up and running as expected. I hope this video has helped you today, and if you like it, click the thumbs up button. 
If you'd like to get notified about the next video and when it drops, click the subscribe button and click the bell to get notified. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time.